The city of Toledo expects to pick up some dollars and cents with the sale of the old Secor Armory. Plans are now in the works for a private developer to take over. And tonight, members of the public got to ask some questions. Fox Toledo, Sean Hegarty is here with a story you'll see only on Fox Toledo. Well, there are still some unanswered questions like where exactly the drainage will go. Neighbors are expected to get those answers at some point. But from a city perspective, this is being called a win-win deal. Oh, it's an eyesore today. That's what neighboring business owners say when they look at the old Secor armory just across a busy Secor road. It's good to see at least there's still someone interested in, in buying it, turning it into something, entrepreneurs who want to make a go of it. And this entrepreneur wants to turn it into commercial office space. Uh, I like historic site, so this is, I want to keep it as historic as it is. The purchase price is about $65,000, which won't close the city's $8 million budget gap, but at least it's a good sign. It also indicates that some people do have uh, confidence in the, the Toledo market and uh, are willing to invest their dollars. It looks awful. So now we have somebody who's interested in fixing it up and in making a buck out of it then that's the American style and the American dream. Part of what bugs the neighbors is that behind these fences, the city stores the leaves that it takes from your yard in the fall. Now the new owners say with the city's help, they'll clean them up. I think it's a great idea. They're going to clean up the property. They're going to keep the outside facade looking nice. A positive outlook for this aging eyesore. we got to be. we got to just keep a you know, positive attitude you know, to make it good for Toledo. The city council still needs to approve some zoning changes for the property. If all that happens and the sale goes through, you might start seeing some work on the building in the fall. Reporting live, Sean Hegarty, Fox Toledo News, 1st to 10.